when should cpr be stopped during a resuscitation attempt the options are after 5 minutes of continuous cpr when an aed is available when the rescuer becomes fatigued or when spontaneous circulation and breathing resume the correct answer is d that is when spontaneous circulation and breathing resume cpr should be stopped when spontaneous circulation and breathing resume or when advanced medical person take over the resuscitation efforts question number 26 what is the recommended rate for chest compression in pediatric cpr the options are 80 to 100 compressions per minute 100 to 120 compressions per minute 120 to 140 compressions per minute or 140 to 160 compressions per minute the correct answer is b that is 100 to 120 compressions per minute the recommended rate for chest compression in pediatric cpr is between 100 and 120 compressions per minute question number 27 what is the recommended compression depth for adult cpr the options are 1 inch that is 2.5 cm 2 inches that is 5 cm 3 inches that is 7.5 cm or 4 inches that is 10 cm The correct answer is B. That is two inches. That is five centimeter. The recommended compression depth for adult CPR is approximately two inches. That is five centimeter. Question number twenty-eight. What should be done immediately after attaching an AED to a victim? The options are: administer chest compressions, press the shock button. continue rescue breathing or analyze the heart rhythm the correct answer is d that is analyze the heart rhythm immediately after attaching an aed to a victim the rescuer should analyze the heart rhythm to determine if a shock is advised or if cpr should be continued question number 28 What is the purpose of the A B C sequence in CPR? The options are to ensure proper ventilation, to maintain circulation, to optimize the delivery of rescue breaths, or to prioritize interventions. The correct answer is D. That is to prioritize interventions. The A B C sequence in CPR. That is. airway breathing and circulation is used to prioritize intervention based on their importance in sustaining life dear friends welcome back to dear competitive exam youtube channel today you are attending 50 most repeated and most important question answer session based on cpr that is cardio pulmonary resuscitation this is the part 2 of this two series and i'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part as the first part contains very important questions very special question based on cpr that is cardio pulmonary resuscitation so the link of the video has been given in the descriptions or you can click on this i button to find it so get ready to challenge yourself and friends if this video is helping you then make sure to hit that subscribe button below your support means world to us so don't miss out hit subscribe now and let's keep the journey going together question number 29 what should be done if a victim's chest does not fully recoil after each compression during cpr the options are increase the compression depth decrease the compression rate allow complete chest recoil before the next compression or alternate between chest compression and rescue breaths The correct answer is C that is allow complete chest recoil before the next compression. If a victim chest does not fully recoil after each compression during CPR 
it is important to allow complete chest recoil before initiating the next compression to optimize blood flow. Question number 30. What is the role of the standards in the chain of survival for cardiac arrest? The options are to perform advanced medical intervention, to administer medications, to initiate early CPR and use an AAD or to transport the victim to the hospital. The correct answer is C that is to initiate early CPR and use an AED. The standards play a crucial role in the chain of survival for cardiac arrest by initiating early CPR and using an AED, which significantly increases the chances of survival until advanced medical help arrives. Question number 32. What is the first step to take if a victim is unresponsive and not breathing? The options are check for pulse, call for emergency assistance, administer rescue breaths or perform chest compressions. The correct answer is B that is call for emergency assistance. The first step if a victim is unresponsive and not breathing is to call for emergency assistance before initiating any CPR procedures. Question number 32. Which of the following is a key component of high quality CPR? The options are rapid compressions, shallow breaths, minimal interruption in chest compression or infrequent reassessment of the victim's condition. The correct answer is C that is minimal interruptions in chest compressions. Minimal interruption in chest compression are a key component of high quality CPR as they help to maintain blood flow to vital organs. Question number 34. When should an AED be applied to a victim in cardiac arrest? The options are immediately upon finding the victim unresponsive. After initiating CPR for 5 minutes, after assessing the victim's pulse or only if trained medical personnel are present. The correct answer is A that is immediately upon finding the victim unresponsive. An AED should be applied to a victim in cardiac arrest immediately upon finding them unresponsive to maximize the chances of survival. Question number 35. What is the preferred ratio of compression to ventilations in adult CPR? The options are 15 ratio 2, 30 ratio 2, 5 ratio 1 or 10 ratio 1. The correct answer is B there is 30 ratio 2. The preferred ratio of compressions to ventilation in adult CPR is 30 compression 2 two ventilations. Question number 37. What should you do if a victim starts breathing normally during CPR? The options are continue CPR until medical help arrives, stop CPR and monitor the victim's breathing, administer rescue breaths more frequently or decrease the rate of chest compressions. The correct answer is a that is continue CPR until medical help arrives. If a victim starts breathing normally during CPR, it is important to continue CPR until medical help arrives to ensure sustained circulation. Question number 38. What is the recommended hand placement for chest compression in pediatric CPR? The options are lower half of the sternum, center of the chest, just below the armpit or over the abdomen. The correct answer is B that is center of the chest. For pediatric CPR, chest compressions should be performed by placing the heel of one hand on the center of the chest, just below the nipple line. Question number 39. What is the correct technique for delivering rescue breaths in pediatric CPR? The options are Seal the mouth and nose with the rescuer's mouth. Deliver gentle puffs of air into the mouth and nose. 
perform mouth to mouth ventilation only or use a bag wall mask device for ventilation the correct answer is b that is deliver gentle puffs of air into the mouth and nose in pediatric CPR, rescue breaths should be delivered by delivering gentle puffs of air into the mouth and nose to avoid excessive airway pressure. Question number 40. What is the purpose of CPR in the context of cardiac arrest? The options are to restart the heart, to maintain the circulation and oxygenation, to relieve airway obstructions or to stabilize the spine. The correct answer is B, that is to maintain circulation and oxygenation. In the context of cardiac arrest, the purpose of CPR is to maintain circulation and oxygenation to vital organs until normal cardiac function can be restored. Question number 41. What is the primary determinant of survival from cardiac arrest? The options are age of the victim, time to initiate of CPR, Presence of bystanders or availability of advanced medical interventions. The correct answer is B. There is time to initiation of CPR. The primary, the primary determinant, the primary determinant of survival from cardiac arrest is the time to initiation, initiation of CPR, emphasizing the importance of immediate interventions. Question number forty-two. How deep should chest compression be performed during CPR for an adult? Your options are 1 inch 2.5 cm, 2 inches 5 cm, 3 inches 7.5 cm or 4 inches 10 cm. The correct answer is B that is 2 inches 5 cm. Chest compression for adults during CPR should be performed at a depth of approximately 2 inches 5 cm to effectively circulate the blood. Question number 43. During CPR, what is the correct compression to ventilation ratio for adult patients? Your options are 15 ratio 1, 30 ratio 2, 5 ratio 1 or 10 ratio 1? The correct answer is B that is 30 ratio 2. For adult patients, the recommended compression to ventilation ratio during CPR is 30 compression to 2 breaths. Question number 44. What should you do before delivering rescue breaths in CPR for an adults? Your options are Check for a pulse, tilt the head back and lift the chin, clear the airway with finger sweeps or administer chest compressions. The correct answer is B that is tilt the head back and lift the chin. If a victim is unresponsive but breathing before delivering rescue breaths in CPR for an adult, it is essential to tilt the head back and lift the chin to open the airway, allowing for effective ventilations. Question number 45. What should be rescuers do if an adult victim suddenly collapses and is unresponsive? Your options are begin CPR immediately, check for a carotid pulse, administer rescue breaths first or perform abdominal thrust the correct answer is a that is begin cpr immediately if an adult victim suddenly collapses and is unresponsive the rescuer should begin cpr immediately starting with the chest compressions question number 46 what is the preferred method for checking for a pulse during cpr your options are Carotid artery neck, brachial artery arm, radial artery wrist or femoral artery groin. The correct answer is A that is carotid artery neck. During CPR, the preferred method for checking for a pulse is the carotid artery or located in the neck.
as it is easily accessible and provides a reliable indication of circulation. Question number 47. What is the recommended compression depth for children aged 1 to puberty during CPR? Your options are 1 inch that is 2.5 cm, 1.5 inches that is 4 cm, 2 inches that is 5 cm or 2.5 inches that is 6 cm. The correct answer is B that is 1.5 inches that is 4 cm. The recommended compression depth for children aged 1 to puberty during CPR is approximately 1.5 inches that is 4 cm. Question number 49. Which of the following is the primary goal of CPR? Your options are Restarting the heart Restoring breathing Maintaining circulation Or all of the above The correct answer is D that is all of the above CPR aims to restart the heart, restore breathing and maintain circulation to prevent brain damage and other complications. Question number 50. How should rescuers check for responsiveness in infants? Your options are Shake the shoulders Tap the feet Call their name loudly or gently flick the earlobe. The correct answer is C that is call their name loudly. When checking for responsiveness in infants, calling their name loudly or tapping the feet is recommended to elicit a response. So dear friends, it is the time to comment your score out of 25 questions. So let us see what is your score out of 25 questions. Please comment your score. And if the video was helpful, then please comment your view on this video. And do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel, our videos. So thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams.